Alright people, I went to the fish store today and I bought some beautiful fish. Let's talk about it. Actually, first things first people, if the sound sounds different today, I actually bought myself a little mic. It's this Bluetooth thing. You know, I wanted to improve the sound quality of my video. So people, let me know in the comments down below. Is the sound quality better or should I just stick to the AirPods? I really hope it's recording. Oh yeah, also people, I finally got a new chair. This one squeaks as well, so we still have the same problem, but at least it's much more comfortable. But yeah, anyway, today, so I went to the fish stall and people, I can't lie, it's been a little while, so I was quite excited to see what they had and yo they definitely had some new stuff now the first thing that i saw was a fresh batch of i still don't know how to pronounce it um i used to call them bikers but i think it's called fishers or bikers raw i don't know the polypterous things in it they were big as well and oh they look beautiful people i want one so bad but because they were slightly bigger they were way out of my price range it cost like 75 pounds oh yeah by the way i gave myself a 30 pound budget today i didn't want to go over that 30 pounds because yeah man's broke and yeah they were 75 pounds so it was definitely out of my budget so i moved on very quickly now right next to them they had these beautiful stingrays and once again they were way out of my price range there was no point in even looking at the price i know they are over 100 pounds but they are so beautiful man the other thing is even if i did have the budget they get way too big my 200 liter tank is not big enough but hey maybe one day in the future who knows i mean my tiger more rate was eventually gonna get too big for this tank so gonna have to get a bigger tank eventually because there's no way i'm giving back my more rate by the way i don't know if i mentioned this but all of these fish that i'm talking about are based on the local fish store that i visit which is wholesale tropicals and bethnal green and yeah man check them out they got so many cool fish in there but yeah anyway so I carried on looking and I finally found the first fish that I actually considered buying and that was the electric blue Jack Dempsey because oh the moment I saw them oh, I was mesmerized man the colors are amazing they've got this blue body with these black dots and I'm pretty sure they only have that pattern when they're babies when they get older they turn more into a blue but the colors are still amazing they look so cool man the thing is i didn't know too much about them so i've done some quick research and it turns out they can be quite aggressive and they can also mess up your plants like they won't necessarily eat them but they might dig them out and move them about and yeah if you've watched my previous videos like my fish have been going through enough stress lately so i don't want to introduce a very aggressive fish however i'm definitely going to do more research and i may have to put him on the list because oh they look so cool by the way if you do have any experience with those fish please let me know in the comments and yeah let me know can you keep them in a community tank are they cool now i carried on looking and a few tanks down the line i saw a beautiful tiger mori eel now of course i've got lily in my tank she is absolutely beautiful however i would like to get another one ideally a male so i can call him james that's a harry potter reference though if you know you know but yeah, of course the eel was way out of my budget however i did decide that if or when this channel hits a thousand subscribers that is a major milestone so if we do ever get there i think i will treat myself to a new tiger more real by the way if you are enjoying this video and you want to see more videos like this every single week then please consider liking and subscribing it would really help me out but yeah anyway although it was hard i had to move on from the tiger more real once again that is something for the future and i carried on looking through the shop and then people i saw the probably one of the most beautiful fish in the fish keeping hobby the desert goby and by the way people i don't know why but i keep calling them desert eagle goby but they're called desert goby desert eagles from resident evil but yeah they are absolutely beautiful well the males are anyway the males they get this incredible yellow and blue body and the blue really pops out and the yellow is so strong it's just oh it's really hard to believe that these are actual freshwater fish they really look like marine water and the best thing about them is apparently if you keep a pair they can breed actually no the best thing about them is they cost 12 pounds people so i was able to get a pair for 24 pounds yeah i guess i kind of gave it away yeah people i picked up a pair of desert gobies now i had six pounds left over on my budget and i decided to buy a pea puffer for five pounds the reason for that is it's for my small fish type by fluval flex because there i do currently have a problem with pest snails and i'm kind of doing an experiment to see whether the pea puffer will take care of that and 
yeah let's see what happens there i'll make a separate video about that people but yeah the desert eagles that see it's confusing me already the desert gobies they cost me 24 pounds the pea puffer was five so in total i spent 29 pounds which is within my 30 pound budget but yeah i brought the desert eagles home the the desert gobies home also the pea puffer as well of course i put the pea puffer in the small tank he's out and about and i may have even seen him nibble on a pet snail already the desert gobies they are both fine in the tank right now i'm looking at one of them just he just really pops out like as soon as i've stopped recording i'm gonna have to take some footage because he's literally out right now just looking about and it looks amazing the colors they really catch your eye and honestly if they breed and the babies survive oh, it's gonna look amazing having all of them in there now i did consider putting them in the small tank and letting them breed there and you know build a little colony however i've got cherry shrimps in there and they will probably all end up as snacks there's a gobies do have a big mouth so i am gonna have to keep it here but if i do see any babies then i will try to fish them out maybe put a breathing box in there or maybe even put the babies in the small tank hopefully that works out now people i'm gonna keep them for a few weeks make sure i'm doing everything correctly and then i will upload a care guide and if i do get them to breed eventually i will also make a video on how to get them to breed so make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see those videos but yeah people in my opinion that was a successful trip to the fish store just like last time and if if you want to see that video then click right here.